the work is about gardens, but it's about the messy bits of gardens rather than the polished, perfect parts of gardens. My name is Douglas Schofield. My work is called Exciting Garden Detritus. As a gardener, I'm really interested in the parts of gardens that we tend to uh, hide or make invisible or remove or intentionally leave. So the mess and the detritus and the debris um, being the clippings and prunings, the weeds, uh, sticks and leaves that have gathered. I find these things are really uh, indicative parts of gardens um, because they speak to the human engagement with nature because of our active decision to either uh, keep it or remove it. By focusing on the messy bits in the garden, it makes me think about the processes and the practices involved in gardening. Thinking about the processes and the practices leads me to th be thinking about my body in the landscape and my relationship to nature. They're essentially paintings, but I would describe them as sculptural paintings. Um, my practice is usually acrylic and oil on canvas or uh, prints on paper. I've tried to take those paintings out of the interior or gallery context and implanting them in the garden. So I've used um, film face ply and uh, enamel to make the work. They're organic shaped uh, timber cutouts with uh, gestural abstract paintings installed in the garden in various positions using um, plinths. So some of the plinths are corten pots or planters that have been upturned. Some of them are reused uh, railway sleepers and uh, sort of rusted rebar. So all of these materials um, using in the context of, uh, I suppose, fine art to replace um, white gallery type plinths, but they are themselves materials that would be used in landscaping and garden design. The ply and the enamel are new materials for me and the materiality of them, that's been one of the hardest things that has taken me a while to figure out their qualities and how best to work with them. Trying to make them waterproof and you know weather tight and durable in a way that you don't need to with works that are designed for interiors. One of the most significant things about creating art in the garden for me has been, more than anything, it just feels right to do. Um, my work is about gardens, I'm a gardener, and it feels like a natural thing to take this painting that I've made in the studio and implanting it in the garden. It kind of feels like planting a plant out of a plastic pot into the earth, it just sort of makes sense.